Welcome to Basketball You. If you're new to Basketball You, make sure you slam dunk that subscribe button. And just to make sure you don't miss a thing, make sure you tap that notification bell right after you hit that subscribe button. Basketball You, we are back with another edition of Role Players. In the meantime, be sure to hit the thumbs up and be always on the lookout for more. Today we're gonna to talk about a player who won back-to-back -back championships in his first two years in the NBA, only to win his third championship in his final season. He is also the master of the mid-range jump shot and also one of the go-to guys for late-game situations in the fourth quarter. Basketball, you family. We are here to present to you Sam After graduating from Paul Lawrence Dunbar Community High School in East Baltimore, Maryland, Cassell spent a postgraduate year at Maine Central Institute in Pittsfield, Maine, under coach Max Good. From MCI, Cassell was successfully recruited to attend DePaul University. He was declared academically ineligible based on National Collegiate Athletic Association, known as NCAA's, Proposition 48 standards and ended up starting his college career San Jacinto College in Houston, Texas, where he was known as a big scorer. He moved on to Florida State University in Tallahassee for his junior and senior years. In his senior year in 1992-93, he averaged 18.3 points, 4.9 assists, and 4.3 rebounds per game and led the Atlantic Coast Conference known as ACC, and steals. Cassell and teammate Bob Sura formed the highest scoring and rebounding backcourt in the nation with 38.2 points and 10.4 rebounds per game. Cassell's 1992-93 Seminoles team finished with a 25-win, 10-loss record and advanced to the Elite Eight in the NCAA tournament, where they lost to the University of Kentucky's Wildcats. On February 14, 2008, in a game against Wake Forest, Cassell's jersey was retired by Florida State. Cassell was selected out of Florida State University with the 24th overall pick of the 1993 NBA Draft by the Houston Rockets. Playing mostly as a backup to Kenny Smith, Cassell developed a reputation as clutch and was usually on the court for the fourth quarter of close games. He was a key contributor during the Rockets' playoff run his rookie year, notably dropping 22 points and 7 assists in a Game 7 win against the Phoenix Suns in the Western Conference Semifinals, and scoring 7 points in the final 32 seconds of a 93-89 win in Game 3 of the 1994 NBA Finals against the New York Knicks. The Rockets will win the championship in 7 games. Cassell saw an increase in his role during his second year, appearing in all 82 games that season. He again helped the Rockets reach the NBA Finals for the second consecutive year. In Game 2 of the Finals against the Orlando Magic, Cassell scored 31 points. The Rockets swept the Magic, giving Cassell his second championship in just two years in the league. In his third season, the two-time defending champion Rockets were swept out of the second round of the playoffs by the Seattle Supersonics. Cassell's minutes, scoring, and usage rates all increased in his third season, but he missed 21 games with injuries. Rockets management feared their window of winning another championship with Olajuwon, Drexler, and Smith was closing, looking to trade for another star caliber player. After the 1995-96 season, he was traded to the Phoenix Suns, along with Robert Horry, Chucky Brown, and Mark Bryant. In exchange, for former league MVP Charles Barkley. Cassell, who was in his final year of his rookie contract, frequently clashed with head coach Cotton Fitzsimmons. Fitzsimmons subsequently resigned following a zero wins, eight loss start. On December 12, 1996, Cassell led the five wins to 14 loss Suns into Utah, 
and defeated the Jazz, who at the time were on a 15-game winning streak. Cassell scored 21 points on the 95-87 road win. Under new head coach Danny Ainge, the Suns saw marked improvement with Cassell leading the team with 14.8 points per game. On December 27, 1996, just 22 games into the season, he was traded along with Michael Finley, A.C. Green, and a second round draft pick to the Dallas Mavericks in exchange for Jason Kidd, Tony Dumas, and Lauren Meyer. Though Cassell had begun to develop chemistry with the Suns and Coach Ainge, team management felt that they could not pass up the opportunity to trade for Kidd. Midway through the 1996-97 season, after appearing in 16 games for the Mavericks, he was traded with Chris Gatling, Jim Jackson, George McLeod, and Eric Montross to the New Jersey Nets in exchange for Sean Bradley, Ed O'Bannon, Robert Pack, and Khaled Reeves on February 17, 1997. The Nets will be the third team that Cassell played for just that season. During that time with the Nets, Cassell lived in Teaneck, New Jersey. Following the season, though he considered an offer to return to Houston, Cassell elected to re-sign with the Nets on a six-year contract, forming one of the league's most potent backcourts with Kerry Kittles. Cassell averaged 19.6 points, 8 assists, and 1.6 steals in 34 minutes per game for the Nets that year and helped lead them to the playoffs for their first time in four years. However, they were swept by Michael Jordan and the Bulls in the first round. Led by coach John Calipari, who pushed the team to trade for then re-sign Cassell, the Nets were the favorites in the Eastern Conference entering the lockout shortened 1998-99 season. However, Cassell sustained an injury in the first game of the season and the Nets started three wins to 15 losses. On March 11, 1999, Cassell was again traded in a three-team, eight-player trade that set Stephon Marbury to the Nets, Terrell Brandon to Minnesota Timberwolves, and Cassell to the Milwaukee Bucks. Under their new coach, George Carl, Cassell formed a big three with Ray Allen and Glenn Robinson. On March 3, 2001, he scored his career high of 40 points against the Chicago Bulls. During All-Star Weekend in 2001, he won the Flair Shootout at Jam Session on All-Star Saturday. That season, after defeating the Orlando Magic and Charlotte Hornets in the first two rounds of the playoffs, he almost reached the finals with the Bucks, falling just short when they lost in Game 7 of the Eastern Conference Finals against the Philadelphia 76ers. During the 2002-2003 season, he passed 10,000 points for his career. On March 28, 2008, Cassell was honored as one of the 20 greatest players in Milwaukee Bucks' history during the team's 40th anniversary celebration. After spending four years with the Bucks, he was traded along with Irvin Johnson to the Minnesota Timberwolves in exchange for Joe Smith and Anthony Peeler following the 2003 NBA Draft. Cassell enjoyed his most successful season as an individual that year. He posted 19.8 points on 49% shooting, 7.3 assists, and 1.3 steals in 35 minutes per game on the year. He was named to the All-NBA second team and voted into the 2004 NBA All-Star Game. Cassell, Latrell Sprewell, and Kevin Garnett formed what was widely considered the best trio in the NBA that season, vaulting past Western Conference powerhouses the Sacramento Kings, Dallas Mavericks, San Antonio Spurs, and Los Angeles Lakers for the number one seed in the Western Conference with a franchise best 58 wins to 24 loss record. Cassell made his playoff debut with the Timberwolves, scoring a franchise playoff record 40 points in a first round game one win against the Denver Nuggets. Minnesota will win the series in five games. They face the Sacramento Kings in the next round with Cassell again dropping 40 points in the series opener. A series of late game heroics from Cassell helped the Timberwolves defeat the Kings in seven games. Cassell, however, sustained a back injury that limited him in the Western Conference Finals against the Lakers, which the Lakers will win in six games. The following year, the Timberwolves finished 44 wins and 38 losses, 
missing the playoffs by one game in the competitive Western Conference. Cassell, who appeared in only 59 games that season due to injuries, voiced his frustration over the midseason firing of Flip Saunders and not being offered a contract extension. After the 2004-05 season, the Timberwolves traded Cassell in a conditional first round pick to the Los Angeles Clippers in exchange for Marco Jaric and Lano Chalmers. The trade is widely considered among the NBA's most lopsided ever. Chalmers never played another game in the NBA, and Yarick was traded after three unproductive yet overpaid seasons. Cassell, meanwhile, led the Clippers to their then most successful season, and the draft pick from Minnesota was used by the Clippers as part of the Chris Paul trade. The Timberwolves would not qualify for the postseason again until 2018. Cassell appeared to have found a home with the Clippers as he helped lead them back to the playoffs for the first time since 1997 with their best record in team history at 47 wins, 35 losses. Since the team moved to California in 1978, they have compiled just three winning seasons. In the first round, they beat the Denver Nuggets in five games but would fall to the Phoenix Suns in seven games in the conference semifinals. Between their move to California in 78 and Chris Paul's arrival in 2011, this will be the only year that the Clippers won a playoff series. Before the 2006-07 season, Cassell was reportedly offered a two-year, $15 million offer from the Atlanta Hawks, but eventually re-signed with the Clippers on a two-year, $13 million deal. Cassell struggled with injuries that season, and the Clippers missed the playoffs by two games, with Elton Brand, Sean Livingston, Chris Kamen, and other suffering major injuries, the Clippers started rebuilding throughout the 07-08 season, although Cassell was initially reluctant to discuss leaving the Clippers. He eventually decided to listen to their buyout offers. On February 28, 2008, the Clippers reached a contractual buyout agreement with Cassell and placed him on waivers. According to the agreement, Cassell received half of his remaining salary, roughly $850,000. Cassell became an unrestricted free agent on March 3rd, 2008, when he cleared Ravers and was eligible to sign with a team of his choice, although Dallas Mavericks, Denver Nuggets, and Phoenix Suns were interested in his services. He was strongly linked with a poised move to the Boston Celtics and was expected to be in Boston once he cleared waivers. On March 11th, Cassell's agent David Falk confirmed that Cassell would sign a contract with the Celtics for the remainder of the season if he cleared waivers, receiving a prorated amount of the veteran minimum of $1.2 million. Cassell said that he would wear either number 28 or 91 on his jersey and eventually choose number 28. According to his agent, Cassell had signed a contract with the Celtics on March 3rd, 2008, but the signing was pending an official league announcement. His arrival was delayed because of a death in his family. On March 4, 2008, Cassell officially signed with the Celtics, but immediately flew back to his hometown of Baltimore to attend funeral service for his deceased family member. He made his debut against the Philadelphia 76ers on March 10, 2008. In Boston, Cassell was reunited with former teammates Kevin Garnett and Ray Allen. On March 17, 2008, Cassell had a standout performance in St. Patrick's Day matchup against the San Antonio Spurs when he led the team from a 22-point deficit to a two-point victory, scoring 17 points and hitting a clutch shot late in the game. Cassell, along with Eddie House, James Posey, P.J. Brown, and Leon Poe, gave the Celtics arguably the best bench in the NBA that season. They helped the Celtics finish with an NBA best, 66 wins, 16 loss record, en route to the NBA Finals. Celtics defeated the Lakers 4-2, with the Celtics bench outscoring the Lakers in five of the six games. The win gave Cassell his third championship, which would also be the last game he played. During the 2008-09 season, Cassell served as an unofficial assistant to head coach Doc Rivers. Though he did not play in any games, he was still officially listed as an active player. On February 17, 2009, Cassell was traded to the Sacramento Kings for a conditional second round draft pick for the 2015 NBA Draft. The move was done strictly for salary cap purposes and Cassell was not expected to play for the Kings. One day later, Sacramento waived him. Cassell cleared waivers and was eligible to re-sign with Boston or another contender, but opted to sit out the remainder of the season, and he announced his retirement in May 2009. In 2015, Paul Pierce stated that he felt that he, Garnett, and Cassell were the real big three of the Celtics' 2008 championship team. On May 21, 2009, Cassell was named assistant coach of the Washington Wizards, joining Flip Saunders 
who was his coach in Minnesota. John Wall, who was drafted first overall by the Wizards in 2010, credits Cassell for his development into one of the NBA's premier point guards and leadership during the team's Eastern Conference semifinals appearance in 2014, their first playoff series win since 2005. During the 2014 offseason, Cassell's former teammate Paul Pierce signed with the Wizards and admitted he made the decision to sign with Washington after speaking with Cassell. After five seasons with the Wizards, Cassell was hired by the Los Angeles Clippers on September 29, 2014 to join Doc Rivers' staff as assistant coach. On November 9, 2020, the Philadelphia 76ers hired Cassell as an assistant coach under Doc Rivers. Cassell appeared on TNT's NBA Fundamental Series in which basketball players describe certain aspects of the game. He was also chosen to illustrate the mid-range game, i.e. shooting from the area around the free throw line, the paint, the wings, and the baseline. On the series, Cassell explained how to post up against opposing guards, shoot pull-up jump shots, and hit buzzer beaters. He admires retired NBA players Terrell Brandon and Jeff Hornacek, two prolific mid-range shooters after whom he modeled his game. What a career for Sam Cassell. Although he was only an NBA All-Star in 2004, the eight teams that Sam Cassell was in could pretty much tell you how great he was as a role player. This is Basketball U. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, follow all of our social medias right there in the description to keep yourself up to date as this channel will have a lot of basketball, a lot of players, and a lot of training and more information on how to play the game of basketball. Remember, someone's always working. Are you? 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 you.